There's a simple beauty to the sound of silence. Beauty that's invisible to the eye, yet capable of connecting us with Mother Nature. Denali National Park stretches over 6 million acres of Alaska's interior. The main part of the park covers 2 million. And since it was founded in 1917, during the winter, it's been up to these guys to protect it. They're the best tool that we have to get work done in the park. Work that by law can't be done with motorized equipment. The core part of that park, what was old Mount McKinley National Park, was designated wilderness by Anilka in 1980. And so having that core part being wilderness, so in order to get in that area to go anywhere, um, th it's, it's against the, the Wilderness Act to, to, go into the, to go in those areas with motorized equipment. That means from December to April, traveling by dog sled is the best way to protect and preserve the wilderness. The Denali Kennel is made up of about 32 dogs. Today, three teams are heading out for a day trip. Typically, patrols can last anywhere from one day to six weeks. Duties include collecting data for research, hauling supplies, and perhaps most importantly, clearing trails. A big part of what they do is just help provide access because we're usually the first ones out after a big snow or um, early in the winter. So we help kind of set these routes that the public um, can use for bat biking or ski drawing, skiing, snowshoeing. So they kind of have a variety of jobs that help um, keep this place accessible and protected. An important job, one that Andrea Schneider, a kennel staff member, says can often be challenging. You never know what to expect, so you just have to be ready for anything. Bitter cold, darkness, and wind are only part of the problem. Here, um, even if it's 30 below, you can still run into open water, and your boots might get wet, your sled could get wet, the runners ice up, the dog's harnesses get wet, and then things immediately freeze. <laughs> when things go wrong, when it's cold like that, you can get in real deep trouble. While dangerous, there isn't anywhere else Andrea and the dogs would rather be. This is amazing, yeah. It's just incredible to be out there on the trail and just to have the whole Alaska range spread out before you and there's just silence and sometimes wildlife. Um, it's pretty amazing. A silent beauty in a picturesque setting, protecting and preserving the environment for generations to come. For Extreme Alaska, in Denali National Park, Blake Essig, Channel 2 News.